Hey, what's up, baby? John, aka Operation iDroid here, and welcome to my live reaction of Seraph of the End Season 2, Episode 8. If you'd like to watch this episode with me, then you can click on the card right here, or follow the link in the description below, and we can watch this episode together at the exact same time by following this little overlay below me, and pretend like you're sitting right next to me and we're watching this anime together. With all that being said, I'm super excited to get started with this episode because the cliffhanger in the last one was crazy. Like, in all honesty, it looked like our boy Yu was about to get his head chopped off. So, we're gonna have to see if that actually happened. So, with that being said, if you are hyped to start this episode, then please hit that like button as it helps the video out tremendously. And without any further ado, I'm gonna be pressing play in 3, 2, 1, go. All right, so the episode has started, and yo, like I was saying, that cliffhanger was crazy. I hope that we get straight into the episode after this super long universal intro, as always, because I need to know what happened, dude. Like, you can't just end an episode like that. Like, that's just a dick move, in all honesty. Like, our main character is about to get blown back, and you just end the episode? Like, come on now. But I guess it is what it is. Let me try to, oh, oh my god, I just messed up my overlay, I'm sorry. Oh, of course. It starts with the opening because now we gotta wait longer to know what the heck happened. Although, I, I kind of, I kind of like this opening. Alright, here we go, my overlay is good now. We are chilling, yo. We living. But yeah, so in the last episode, we saw that Shinoa squad actually came back to help out Gurin and Shinya. Because they were just supposed to, like, distract or try to kill um, the nobles that were um, in that building in the uh, in the city hall, I believe it was. At the same time, while the other squads, which was Shinoa and that one guy that's just been introduced, um, were supposed to just take all the hostages or take as many hostages as they can out and meet back at the airport. However, midway through the operation... Uh, you just decides, like, yo, Gurren's getting his ass kicked, Chinya is getting his ass kicked, like, I don't think they're gonna make it out of here, let me go help him out. And, at, at one point, I was skeptical about it, because I was like, yo, I think that Gurren and Chinya can handle their own, like, if they need to escape, they can just run away, but, they were getting, they were getting pretty messed up, dude, so I think it was good that you and Shinoa squad decided to back them up, because if not... They were probably going to die. Like, this man, Gurren, just got stabbed through the freaking shoulder again. Like, this happens every season. And Shinya got, like, a pretty deep wound in his chest. So, we're going to have to see what happens. This episode is called Demon's Lullaby. No idea what that refers to. But, yo, let's find out what the heck happened to our man, you. Alright, so he pops out of the ground like a freaking mole. And... Oh, okay. <laughs> and that cliffhanger was stupid because Kimizuki was just there the whole time. Yo, can we talk about how this vampire is just on fire and he's chilling? Like it doesn't even phase him. Yo. The music. Oh my god. I think, is this the ending theme from season one? I don't remember, but yo, this man has his two bad bitches by his side all the time. Low key, I wish I was you right now. Jesus, getting whipped by that. Oh, oh, don't talk to me about that. Yo, how many times is you about to die? Like, Jesus. You, can you take care of yourself a bit better? Yeah, I think this is the ending theme from season one. I could be wrong, but this is so good. Yo, I want to see this man just catch freaking uh, Yoichi's little, like, birds again. That was hilarious, dude. He just caught the bird by the neck like it was a chicken. Hey, yo, chill, you. Dude. Oh, no! Dude, why does that guy have the strength of, like, a fucking Hulk? He literally just threw Gurren, like, from two feet away to the wall, 
at like 40 miles per hour. Okay. Okay. Wait, does he know? Does he know that uh, Farid is like a... Uh... Oh, yo, Shinya. But you're saving Shinya. Oh, snap. Yo, you is like crazy, dog. Yeah, like, they could have been running already. But, like, I understand the fact that he doesn't want to leave Gurin, but at the same time, like, yo, this is war. Yo. I love how they're just talking, like, they're all just having, like, a little group meeting, like, Oh, wait, what the heck did he just say? What the heck did he just say? Is he gonna kill himself? Yo, Shinya has a deep-ass cut in the middle of his chest, and he's still controlling you. Yo, I wonder what Gurren said. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Oh! It's Gurren's squad! Remember that guy said that he had a plan? The guy with the, or the the blonde guy with the goatee. I wonder what his plan was. It's funny how they say Genju to like Naruto. Okay. Yo. It's the fucking rat. Oh, yo! They even threw fucking little um. Not sh are those those aren't shurikens, there's something else. Like fucking Naruto, dude. This is like an episode of Naruto right now. Kunai's, those are kunai's. Yo, so Gurren Squad's out here trying to save his ass. Meanwhile, they're just getting blown back. Ooh. Yo, this guy always uses other people. Like Crowley's so like fucking bad, dude. He just throws other people at each other. Ah, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Dude. Crowley's just beating the fuck out of Gurren. Holy shit. That's such a dick move. Ah, Jesus. Fuck. Yo, this man Crowley's just baiting his whole squad. Like, he knows if he does that, they'll come after him. Or, if anything, he still has Grin. Like, he doesn't give a fuck. Okay. He just fucking sliced a missile. Yo, so they actually left Grin. Holy shit. I don't think anything's gonna happen to Grin because he said that he's taking him to, uh, um, uh, Fareed, but... Because for sure, Gurren is the rat, and him and Farid are boys, like, exchanging information and whatnot. Damn, dude, Gurren's fucked up, holy shit. Damn. It kinda sucks. The test subjects? Who are the test subjects? What the heck? What the heck is this guy? Yo, this guy has his like little like shirt like half open like a v-neck. Yo, do you hear the music in the background? Things just got intense. Yo, 
Yo. I guess that's true. If I report your attitude to father, like what? Oh, yo. Dude, they're brothers and they're just coming at their necks. Holy shit. That's scary. Yo, fuck father. Holy shit, dude. This guy's crazy. He's arresting him. Yeah, you're dead. Yep. Holy shit. Yo, no way. This guy's got a bad bitch by his side, too? All of these girls got... All of these guys have girls, dude. Yo, I, they just, like, freaking, like... Meanlessly murdered this guy's like two like guard members. The Shibuya troops. Oh, yo, so okay, wait, wait. They just said that they're going to Nagoya and they're not going to Shinjuku. Okay, that's an evil ass laugh. Shit. Yo. Just scared the fuck out of this guy. Like, this man literally pissed his pants. Dude, holy shit. This is a huge, like, coup. Like, he's just taking over the demon army. Do he doesn't care. Alright, but at least we know that he's going to Nagoya and not Shinjuku. So that they'll have, like, some sort of reinforcement soon. And maybe this guy will be able to save Gurren. Yeah, dude. Yo, Shinya, teach this man you a lesson. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's too late now. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's like, he's one of yours. Yo, they're all depressed. They all feel the same way, you. You just gotta chill, my dude. I love how small you looks right there. He looks like a fucking 12 year old. Which he, he. I think he's only like 14, but still. Yo, do you hear the sad piano melody in the background? That's not helping at all. We are. Okay. Yo, I'm having trouble figuring out how this guy, Shinya, is chilling with a fucking huge ass cut in the middle of his chest. Damn. Yo, even Gurren Squad is torn up over the fact that they left him. Yo, too bad Gurren Squad is just all hoes. Three girls, one guy. This man Gurren's living the life. Dude, you starting to starting to anger me now.
Yo. He looks like he's about to go fucking crazy right now. Alright, did he calm down? Wait, where the heck are they? Is that you? Who's that? Is that his dad? No, wait, that's Grim. Also, oh, this is where he was at, like, prior to the anime starting episode, like, two, you know? Like, after he escaped from the vampires. <laughs> Yo, so Gurren was actually nice to him before. <laughs> Love how Gurren's wearing a button-down shirt, like in the middle of the night. Yo, is it just me, or does this episode feel super long? Like, I feel like so much has happened so far. Yeah, nah, don't think like that. You? Yo, why does it look like he's jerking off under there? What the heck, you? What are you doing? Oh, he's just... He's just crying. Okay, never mind. What the heck? Then you and I are the same? It's painful to, for Grin to live too? Oh, yo. He's probably talking about Shinoa's sister. Those are the most random, like, things he could mention. Those are just necessities. Okay. Yeah, straight up, dude. Like, it's been, like, until season two, and Gurren, like, found, I mean, and you found new family, he was only living to kill vampires. Like, that's all he cared about. He didn't give a shit about anything. Like, how we saw, like, in episode three and four, when he first met Shinoa in the regular school, like, he didn't give a fuck about Shinoa. He just wanted to kill vampires. Yo, so this man Gurren was like an older brother figure to you. Never knew that. Until now. Oh. Oh, chill, you! Oh, I love how you just like dodge you know, like, nah, fuck you. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, you chill. Do you know what happened last time you took these? Wait, he's already taken two pills? Holy shit. Oh, whoa, fuck, chill. Ooh, did you see how that got in the lens? That was nice. Okay, ah. Okay. Wait, so Shinya? What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Holy shit, you. That was like a shitty decision. 
Oh, what the? How did he do that? Oh, uh, not again. Not again. Nah, you gotta control it, you. You're bigger than that. Yo, that's kind of nasty. He was bleeding from his eyes, nose, mouth, like everywhere. Yo, did this man, you, really just commit suicide? Like, what the fuck? Dude, look at Shinoa's face. Holy shit. Dude, that's when you know. Shinoa really likes this guy. Oh, Mika, dude. Dude, all hell's gonna break loose if Mika finds you like that. Oh, fuck, that won't be good. Oh! Mika, what the fuck? It's just gonna betray all these guys? Yeah, if these guys think they can kill Mika, they're out of their mind. Wait, can we go back to you, though? Like, is you okay? Like, pretty sure he was half dead there for a second. Dude, straight up, this is a joke, right? You didn't just, like, pop a pill and die. What the fuck? Nah, son. Don't do this to us. Another shitty-ass cliffhanger? They're not gonna do that to us. I refuse to believe that. Yeah, those are some big-ass planes. Yo, so this guy's going all out, like... What's the test subject? Yo, what the heck? I, I wonder if it's like another kid like you. Oh, fuck. What the heck does that mean? Fine. He said that it's fine. I'll buy that. Okay. Yo, he says hurry and there's like three people just standing there. Like, yo, can we get moving? What the fuck? Alright, so that's one, like, massive plane helicopter out. Okay, so yeah, another another shitty cliffhanger. You just overdosed. He OD'd and just died? Like, what the fuck? What type of bullshit is that, dude? My god, this is just, like, over the top now. These, these cliffhangers are dumb. I can't. I just can't. I just can't. Last episode, you almost got his head chopped off. This episode, he OD'd and... Now it's just laying on the floor dead. Okay. What the hell? That's so dumb, dude. Like, I don't even know how to react. Like, how many times can this man you nearly die? Because, in all honesty, there's no way he just OD'd and died. Like, that'd be the stupidest thing in anime I've ever seen. And I think the worst part is that Mika just arrived at this city hall place. And if he doesn't find you, shit's gonna hit the fucking fan. Like, Mika's gonna go crazy, dude. Or if Mika just finds you laying down dead like that, or like almost dead, because I doubt he's actually dead, that's going to be pretty awful. And we still have to rescue Gurren, and we now know that this guy, this Hiragi guy, is on his way with like tons and tons of soldiers, a test subject, which we don't know what it is, but more than likely is probably just like you, like a serif kid. So I'm interested to see all of that. But anyways, if you enjoyed watching this episode with me, be sure to click that like button as it helps out the video tremendously. And let me know your thoughts about this episode in the comment section below. Let me know if I missed anything. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And yo, episode preview spoilers. So yeah, I guess I'll 
I'll see you guys next week for some more Seraph of the End or in any of my other videos if that's your thing. And as always, thanks for watching this with me and keep being you.